New Year's. Uh, hello. I'm here again in my lockdown. Uh, today is a little bit special. It's now Ramadan time. And in Ramadan, we normally like to eat fry up things. So today, I'm going to make a specialty of a Ramadan, which is uh, gold kebab. Gold kebab. Gold means round kebab. It's kebab. And they are called gold kebab because they are in a round shape. So, Let's stay with me for gold kebab. Right, uh, I'm going to start with I've washed uh, and drained all the water from my kima. It's a lamb. I'm using a lamb mince. You can use uh, chicken mince if you like, or if you like beef, you can use beef. And uh, I do not know what is a substitute uh, for vegetarian. I can show you some of the vegetarian recipe, but there is no substitution for this special one. So to start with, I'm going to add, I have got uh, one and a half uh, medium size uh, onion. You can put less or more. To be honest, it's uh, again, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So let's see what else is going on. Um, I have got um, around uh, a cup full of uh, chopped uh, mint, which is growing in my garden very nicely at the moment. And I've got some coriander, which is shock pot, of course. I'm going to put all of this in. You can grind it, but to be honest, I like it a little bit um, uh, chunky because uh, it does give it a different flavor. If you put the um, um, same thing uh, grinded, it completely changes the flavor. Um, over here, I have just... Uh, chopped very very finely two green chilies you can always add a little bit less or more depending on your preference of uh, chili they are quite hot so that's why i stick to two if you think that you've got chilies which are not as hot you can always add more uh, now in this one i'm going to add a uh, heap teaspoonful of salt yeah and then i'm going to add my garlic and ginger paste which is a stays in my fridge all the time it's a tablespoon and a half because it's quite a lot here uh, in this one I'm going to add rather than uh, grind chilies, I'm going to use chili flakes. Uh, uh, around teaspoon. Yeah, I think that's about it. Another important ingredient is coriander seeds. However, I've got some uh, uh, powdered, but I'm going to use freshly ground coriander seed. I think I'm going to take one and a half, looking at the amount, or maybe two. As I said, it is very difficult for me. I never measure ingredient. I just put it in. And then I've got exactly the same amount in uh, cumin seed. Now I'm going to grind it coarsely rather than fine powder. Please, please, please do not make it fine powder because it, cha it will completely change the taste of it. it is quite coarse uh, you can still see a bit of it uh, uh, it will the smell of it is so so different and so nice this is going to be the main thing in it another main ingredient for this one is uh, millet flour or bajrika atta uh, atta means flour and uh, bajri is called millet in English. Uh, it is uh, quite good for you. Uh, try it. If you do not have it, please do not run to the shop and get it. You can uh, add ground flour if you have ground flour instead. And if you do not have a ground flour, you can use a couple of bread crumbs, a uh, br uh, couple of bread slices crumb. And put it in and it will bind it together but this will have a little bit unique and this is what we used to have when we were little 
uh, at Ramadan time. I'm going to add one third cup of lemon juice. Uh, I don't have the fresh lemon juice, so I just uh, got some left in the cupboard, so I put it in. And there's one more thing I need to add. Normally I don't add this in, but I think at the moment, uh, I think it is a very, very good for our health. So I'm going to use some of these Nigella seed. I love them and I'm going to add them. Normally we never used to put that, but I think I like them. So I'll put some of these. Now I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to use my hand. I've washed it properly, but I was singing happy birthday twice. And now I'm going to mix it properly so everything can be together. Uh, the one thing is uh, I'm going to mix it and leave it for a couple of hours or I'm just uh, going to start frying before it's nearly our iftar time. So they are nice and warm at that time we can't try and taste it but make sure you definitely try and taste it before you fry all of these you if you want extra salt or extra chilies or extra anything you can add add it in now you can see uh, everything is mixed the color is uh, because of the millet flour is gone a bit grayish and i'm gonna leave it in fridge until i'm ready to fry it just before the time to open the fast. It's really time to open our fast. So I'm going to start making my kebabs. Um, I have just mixed it in again. And I'm going to take like a little bite size, you know. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to press it a little bit harder. Otherwise, uh, as soon as I put it in the oil, it will just completely dissemble. So I'm going to make it like a little ball. I think I better taste the oil whether it's ready or not. You can see it's come up straight away. It means the oil is hot enough. So I'm gonna put the balls in. Uh, I made some here before, so I'm gonna add these in. It will be deep fried. And now the oil is boiling hot. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. So it will cook inside as well as outside. If, the, uh, if it is too high heat, then it will just burn from outside and not cook properly from inside. At this stage, I would have just put one in and take it out and try it for the taste whether it is the right amount of salt or do i need more chilies or not but um, i can't taste it because i'm fasting so i just have to go with it and i'm sure it will be tasty frying i keep moving them about so it uh, cook uh, on all sides evenly you can see it's getting browner uh, and yeah, I think they are nearly ready. Can you see? It's cooked properly. Same color on all the sides. So it's ready. I'm going to take it out now. And drain it into this uh, sieve. It's got big, big hole. So any extra oil will be drained out. Right. You can see. Here's my gold kebab. They are ready. I'm going to hopefully in a bit eat it with uh, some raita. Raita is ready. Maybe one of these days I might try to give the recipe for raita. It is very, very easy to make like any other thing. So give it a try. Give it a try. It's really, really nice. Uh, if you like onion bhaji and things like that, this is something a little bit with the twist. It's got millet flour. You can put ground, ground flour as well if you have bought it a big pack. And with a little bit of a mince, it's nice. Give it a try. If you like some more recipes like this, please comment below so I know what you like and what you don't like. If you have got any kind of advice for the future, please, please do write it down. I'm, I'm just uh, starting into this and I'm really quite enjoying it. In the lockdown, 
and uh, I feel like I'm with so many people so many people are with me cooking with me and enjoying cooking with me so for um, more videos like it and subscribe it